Purple. Nice. Try to use them as a source. Uh, hey, it's more coffee for you. All right, Murgot. The less coffee. That's how it works. That's just supply and demand. If Rakes and I don't have any coffee, there's more in the world for you. The same one. Uh, what do I need? Oh, what am I trying to do with this? I'm trying to send goods over to them. I need 71. There we go. To get allied with them. Here we go. This will be our second ally. And this will allow us to call in... Um, trades or reinforcements. So now we're allied with Lona. Lona is our ally and so is Rebo. So we can trade either... Um, are they enemies of each other? Uh, they are. Anyway, we can trade with either of them at any time we want. Uh, or have them come help during raids, which is the main, the main reason I'm doing it. Uh, now that we have a little bit more steel, I'm going to move these back because I really need stone blocks it's kind of crazy how much uh stone blocks have been our one of our limiting factors in this playthrough but i guess it makes sense such a small map santa claus is on it though it's getting done darling your students should be children socially frowned upon Kill each other on your front yard. Yeah, listen to Pete's eat you. <laughs> yeah. Sounds about right. So we have a little bit less power generation than uh than we had before that mech raid. Because the mechs took out our windmill over here. We could rebuild one. Rebuild one. Just keep that solar panel over here. We'll see. We might not need it. This one's working pretty well. Got some visitors. They're not traitors, though. How's Cobra doing here? Our uh, asthmatic prisoner. They're hungry. They're a cannibal. Do you want to eat one of our visitors? We could see what they have. I mean, you can trade with them. It's just they're not traitors. They're not going to have much. Wait, Cobra and Cobra? Cobra, meet Cobra. Cobra, eat Cobra. So they have. Uh, they have 104 silver we can try to get from them. So we can sell some of this tribal junk that got dropped off here. Dropped off <laughs> when we killed people. They did drop it. We're at 111 already. You know what? I'm still okay with that. That's a little bit over, but... Uh, do they have anything that we could buy? That's some herbal, herbal, herbal medicine. That's fine. We'll give them a little, uh, a little deal there. Sit back for gear drops. Unfortunately, you can't. Once you call one, uh, you can't call the other one. They'll be like, no, there's hostiles there. Uh, from an opposing tribe. For some reason, we won't do that. Your third time ever trying it? I've tried it several, quite a bit of times, and I've never liked it. Show us morning drink, extra strong. Hooked on it when you were in dad's mechanic shop as a kid. Change the filter on Monday mornings. Just out of grounds each day through Friday. But then take the paint off a car. <laughs> um, did we get all the mechs done? Yes, yeah, so we can turn the power off to this. Okay. Um, it's nighttime. We can turn the power off to the drills as well. No, we ran into that friggin' bug again. Really wish I knew which mod was causing that. The UI disappeared and F11 doesn't bring it back. And I can't go to the escape menu. All right, we'll have to reload. Seems to happen like once or twice a stream. There's no error, so I don't know which one to call it. You can call in multiple squads. You have to have a certain um, uh, rank with them too, though. So you have to have like a certain royalty rank and you have to be allied with them. Because we got allied with the Empire last playthrough and I called a traitor and... Um, 
the auto wins can still happen. But when I tr called the trader, they actually sent the trader. And then when they got here, they wouldn't talk to us. Like, oh, you don't have the proper rank to trade with me. We walked for 10 days, but oh well. Uh, so let's see. We turn that power off. These. Quest for Venomatrix Power Cell. Get Siege. Two raids at the same time. You're clearing the siege. Three colonists, a donkey, and two huskies only. <laughs> Good luck. Is there a hotkey to quick save? Not that I've seen. I went through them all last time. I did set it to auto save every half day now, at least, so that um, if it happens, at least we won't have to go back, you know, as much. But... What? What? <sighs> I think it's that Octung thing. It's the only thing I can think of. Because when I click to force them to do it, which is an Octung thing, uh, that's when it happened again. So I guess I'm just going to not have to force them to do stuff like that. Disable it? Well, I use it for other things that do work. Which is Octung 2. Yeah. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. <sighs> Randleman! Randleman, thank you for the resub. 11 months, that's actually almost a year. Thank you, Randleman. Much appreciated. Thank you again for the bits last night, by the way. Much appreciated, Randleman. Thank you for the support. Almost a year. For real this time, yeah. <laughs> But I do use Octung for uh, for other things that I really like. Because Octung allows you to force people to do something until they would literally fall over and die. It's pretty useful sometimes. Yeah. Pretty useful. Alright, how's this guy doing, this prisoner? At a 34.2. Quite a bit of resistance left on him. Quite a bit. The almost a year joke? I don't even know. It's it, ha it started so long ago on the channel. Like a year and a half ago, we had something like... In a single night, we had maybe like seven, eight, nine people all resub for like 11 months. So then for the rest of that stream, I just kept saying almost a full year no matter how many months it was. And then when I stopped saying it, people like Lunar kept bringing it up no matter how many months and so now it's just become no matter how many times you sub for we say it's almost a full year it's not surprising uh people have come in and thought i was like stupid before from it i remember just a couple months ago someone resubbed for like 14 months and i was like that's almost a full year and someone was like uh adam are you okay 14 months is actually two more months in a full year it's like oh thanks so two potatoes, you go to bed, 50% full rest bar. <laughs> ah, a great Rimworld colonist indeed, Woozy. How many blocks are we up to? Man, Santa Claus, how close are you to getting a chunk? You getting there? You getting there? It's nighttime, let's turn these other two drills off. You know what? I'll only turn them on if we have idle people. We'll keep one on all the time, and then I'll turn the other two on only if we have idle. It's been almost a full year since people started correcting me, yeah. Almost. Getting real close. Oh no! Too deep infestation! Uh... Well, there went two of our turrets. <sighs> At least dig two deep infestations are really minor. Just spread out our turrets a little bit more. Okay. Is that a goods trader? Was that a ship? Yeah. Santa Claus, call the ship. They, it does eternal wait? Because we've left it on for a little while before it came back. I can try it next time, though. 
The digging some says shift forcing jobs has been causing the glitch with Octung. That makes a lot of sense, yeah, because that's what I was doing, Corey. Thank you for the, thank you for the information. So it's not just the forcing, it's uh, queuing up multiple forced jobs. Easy. Hey, Corey, welcome in. Turn away. Welcome back in. Might buy some panoxicillin while they're here since we're not producing our own. Um, probably a good idea. We can trade Thrumbo Horn for some panoxicillin. That's uh, a little more. Man, they are overcharging for panoxicillin. Come on. Come on. We have six colonists. Let's grab 24 while they're here. Yeah, should be good. Four doses of penoxillin, so that's enough for like 20 days. Now there's an exotic goods trader. Okay. Okay. Rad. Two exotic goods in a row. What's going on, Superglue? Thanks <laughs> to the guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, no worries. No worries. I didn't see that message at first. Uh. Yeah, not gonna do anything. Yeah, I think we had just enough power with the extra wind turbine. We could turn all this into rice and start using Kim fuel more. Then we can have Kim Fuel Generators, which are so small. It just takes more work that way, though. These are much more passive. That uh, that going out every night for a little while is not good. None of this is close to even rotting, though. I think we're okay. Is that snack for so long? Good soup takes a while. True. I guess I'll end up butchering these for uh, insect meat that we can give away. Might as well. I know we can turn into kibble also, but probably just use it for insect meat. Not in meals. Uh, let's make sure that it doesn't have it set up for insect meat for meals. Colonists do not like insect meats. Okay, insect meat and human meat are turned off. Good. So we probably want to move those apart a little bit more. Hmm. Nah, it's okay for now. It's mainly fine unless there's a deep or a duck too deep. Can aesthetic eat bug meat? Yeah. I believe so. We don't have an aesthetic. You know, we'll eat it. You mean 2020 cooking? Sky high expectations on rakes. <laughs> Don't forget to cannibal. Kaz, you're taking a nap out on the solar panels, getting a nice tan. On on you have no body parts visible. The static nobles kind of OP. Just do what Rakes does with the nobles. Have you heard? You don't need a throne room or a bedroom for them. All you do is you remove their legs and leave them in bed, and then when they need to get up to go and trade with someone or do a noble-like quest, then you just reattach their legs or just shove some pegs in there. You have them talk to the person they you, they need to talk to, and then you just remove their legs again. <laughs> then you don't have to worry about a bigger bedroom for them. You just put them in like a two-by-one box. As long as you keep them fed, doesn't matter. 100% correct. <laughs> completely bypasses the whole need for uh, for them having other things. Aside from the food, you gotta feed them. If they're aesthetic, yes, it doesn't matter. Just keep them in a box until you need them. Shove some rice and or potatoes in there every now and then. One hundred percent, what you do. <laughs> it's not quite as cruel. Well, I guess it's about the same actually uh, as the harmonizer. Sounds slightly inhumane. inhumane. Just a little derf. Derf, welcome back. So, for anyone that hasn't seen yet, there's a new item called the Psychic Harmonizer. 
The second harmonizer is a brain implant that makes it so whatever that uh, pawn's mood is makes an AoE aura around them that goes through walls that also improves the mood or, or affects the mood of other pawns that are in that aura. So what you can do is you can get someone that's like sanguine and you can put a joy wire and a harmonizer in their brain and then you remove their legs and you put them in a little box so like multiple of these people around your base and so you have these little beacons around your base that are constantly broadcasting super happy vibes. <laughs> That's just, no one ever gets upset. Took your hard riser and made it more savage. Let's see, we're going to ground nudist, Joywire. Love to be a normal colonist. Yeah, but you can just put them in a box. Why even let them move around? Put one right next to your battlefield. That way people never have breakdowns during battle again. It's, it's your... Uh, it's your mascot. You can name him Log or whatever you want. The troll equivalent. Yeah, the Sims troll equ tr equivalent. Turn him into one of those artifacts. Yeah, absolutely. The, yeah. The beacons. Like chaos. You don't play on the harder settings. Yeah, whatever you have fun with, for sure. What's the radius of it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think the, the beacon, the artifact one is, is not something huge. It's like 15. Something like that. Circadian assistant in a pond with quick sleeper. Guy's a workhorse now. Only needs two, three hours of rest a day. Sounds good too. I did wizard. Welcome back. The only downside is they don't get the um, luxuriously comfortable buff multiple times a day. But 15 sounds about right. Yeah, it's not huge. But I mean, that's still a, a decent, decent size. All right, we've had a mech cluster on top of our drug farm tonight, and a couple of raids. What will be next? What will be next? Mm. Mm. Man, if if we had gotten a, a tiny map with a um, uh, a, a thermal vent, a steam vent, we would be really well off. I'm tempted that once we recruit this person to send them off on uh, a scouting mission and look at some of these other tiles and see if there's one with a with a vent because man, that would be so nice. Save so much room. Just one of those would probably be all we needed forever. And we would have to have batteries. That would always end up waiting during the day and unhappy. Both good, you also Seriously bad. Awesome version of Joywire. I can shove a few into your kill box. Maybe as well get mad just walking through the tunnel. Well, I mean, you could do that too, I guess. That um that psychic harmonizer, I don't know if we can go into the negative. I've not tried it in that capacity, but it does a wave of whatever their mood is. So you might can put a psychic harmonizer in like a prisoner and then make like cut off their legs and leave them in a box, but then make them really unhappy. Like give them the one that causes pain all the time and and see if that <laughs> that AOE in your kill box. So with pain, bad mood? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't tried that. You lost the colony to a harmonizer once? Really? Yeah, I haven't run into that yet. Sounds crazy. All right, we're just trying to get the rest of our research done and then we can build this ship and get off this planet. Uh, when this person gets recruited though, I am gonna have them go scout some other maps. They have a lot of resistance left, unfortunately. They have asthma. They're still upset that their brother and their friend died. They'll be over their friend's death in 13 days and their brother's in 23. Oh, it's fall. It's fall. Uh, after the next raid, we'll go kill anything that's out here. We still aren't really getting many chunks out of this uh, mining setup. Whoa, cargo pods. Scary. Scary. <laughs> Squirrel meats. Not scary. Expand our work zone to grab those. Uh, the enemy can get cover behind that. Don't want that. Let's get that out of there. Everyone insane. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. 
Uh, I'm going to use those strategies on the next big map that we do. Next normal playthrough. Let's see how they are. It's too bad it doesn't affect mechs, though. Because uh, that's the real problem. It's super... Uh, it's a really game. Well, at least that meteorite didn't hit anyone this time. Uh, let's mine this thing out. Maybe we'll actually get some chunks out of it. How doing, Sigson? Welcome back. Games help dual mechs. Well, I'm just talking about uh, normal mech raids in the super late game with high wealth. Uh, the nerf on wall HP and nerf on explosions over walls and EMPs through walls, things like that, makes it very hard late game when you're having to defeat, you know, 15 to 20 centipedes. Was it actually a lot? Well, I, I mean, not even to deal with accuracy, just even if you were, I don't know, it's just, it seems like it lowers it by 70%, smoke does, regardless who's in it. I don't know. Just late game, super late game mech raids now are way harder than they used to be. I'm thinking that they don't want you to get to as high wealth as we usually do. So you don't get those type of raids, but like the one we had where it was like 20, like 15 scythers and 20 lancers and 10 pikemen and like 15 centipedes or whatever the crap. Are we get no chunks out of this. Well, that sucks. But yeah, smoke lowers by 70% for you and enemies. Any anything shooting through smoke lowers by 70%. That's smoke pot belts as well. So if you have smoke pot belts on your units, um, the best defense is to be kind of spread out a little bit so that your smoke doesn't obscure your allies. Completely block shooting? No, it lowers it by 70%. 70% reduced aim through smoke. Oh yeah, smoke stops the turrets. The um, uh, It's always very good against the mech clusters because of the turrets. But I was talking about like the normal uh, units from raids and Stuff, not the actual turrets from clusters. There's second ability, like skip and teleporting enemies onto landmines and grenades. I haven't used that yet. I don't know which one is my favorite. Honestly, I haven't used all that too many of them. We basically have stuck at the tier one or tier two stuff for a long time and kind of spread it out through the colony. Yeah, I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's storm time. One of the unforeseen troubles of a tiny map. Zerg, pulse, friends, pain block, focus burden. More useful. Useful, it doesn't last long enough. Yeah. That multiple people is stun. It is a really nice thing to clog tunnels up with. Stun the people that are in the front. Zerk Pulse is good for infestations. Well, no one's got struck by lightning yet this time. Burn behind, yeah. Miss anything fun? We had a uh, mech cluster in our drug field tonight. Salasha took out our power supply over here. Uh, the mech cluster took up this entire area of the map. And then aside from that, we've just had some normal raids. So that was the most eventful thing that you missed. I know Slasha, welcome in. Use the train slowed down, yeah. People that need to aim their shots, like rocket stuff. Yep. Against, especially, it can save your life against things like uh, doomsday rockets, especially. It can also be nice to, uh, like if, if you're trying to stop pawns from getting off the map, to down them to see if you want to take them. Slow them down. Well, I mean, Burden could do that too, but... I declared the cluster. There was a steel wall right here, and there was a power supply, like, here and here. And so I 
I got here and I busted open the steel wall, shot the power supply. It exploded and blew up the turrets around it. And then it also caught the other one, the other uh, power supply and blew that one up and blew the rest of the raid up. So we actually didn't take any damage. <laughs> we, we lost a couple of animals to the mechs that came out of it, but we didn't even get hit by a turret. The turret never even shot at us. Still, it's just done last tier three. Yeah, for sure. In the middle of your drug, stop the mech cluster spawning. Supposed to not land on roofed rooms? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's a good question. Like, I don't know what the limits are to it. I don't I don't know if we, uh, like, what if we roof the whole map? Will you not get a cluster? I don't know. Is there a clip of the cluster from a little bit ago? I don't know if anyone clipped it. It's on the VOD, though. You can always go to videos and just click tonight's video and just click back maybe 30 minutes. What's black and white and red all over? I don't know, cat. What's black and white and red all over? I didn't sword you, by the way. Welcome in. Dindrigal, welcome back. Ugh. Newspaper. Or perhaps it's a zebra that's been beaten. And for now, welcome back. Enjoy the stream today. Oh, yeah, no worries, Fidel. Thank you for stopping in. Hopefully, we'll be able to see you tomorrow. Yeah, but the mech cluster went really well overall. A pan and a blender. GG, cat. Wow, your name is true. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, back to room worlds. But yeah, no worries for now. Thank you for stopping in. <laughs> How close is Cobra from joining? What has two legs and bleeds? What, trees? Uh, let's see, they're at, at 30.8. Man, they're going really slow. How high is the resist? Uh, they have 87% recruitment difficulty. Hmm. I see. Half a dog. It's true. Half of a lot of things. I do Jedi. Welcome in. A new subscriber. Come steal yourself. We are building Skin. an army. Skin, they were the three gift subs to Zed Magic, Solus, and uh, Heart, all for their first month. Thank you, Skin. Very much appreciated. Uh, absolutely helps out a ton, especially right now, as you know. Thank you, Skin. Much love to Skin. Appreciate the gift subs. Zed, Solus, Heart. You can all use the sub emotes anywhere you want now on Twitch. You also owe your undying gratitude to Skin, and if they want it, your firstborn children. Thank you, Skin. Randleman, how you doing tonight? Thank you again, by the way, as well. How are we doing this research? Almost there. Almost there. We really need blocks. I'm going to start buying blocks. Seriously. Let's call in a trade. Santa Claus. Call our allies over at Lona. Yeah, I don't know about that roof thing. That's kind of interesting. If we, like, spread out our buildings a little bit, instead of have that one long line, it might be worth it. Worth a try. Uh, let's do bolt goods. They should have some stones. Uh, Starship Redactor. Why can you scroll around this map? I don't know. That's, I guess... Like, why does it even let me zoom out and do this all the way instead of, I don't know. I don't know, Spyglass. I, I think the game wasn't really made for 50 by 50 maps, so. It almost looks like just Fog of War, like we're in the middle of a great big mountain. But, yeah, I'm not sure why it lets me zoom out that far on this. Combination of the uh, smaller map mod and Camera Plus. Camera Plus is an awesome mod. All it does uh, is let you zoom out really far and zoom in really close. Which I really enjoy. And then if you zoom out so super far, it'll show your colonists as a uh, little white circle. Prisoners like the little green circle. 
Allies, the blue circle. Enemies is red circle. Starting Age of Empire. Don't want to sleep yet, like a kid. No. I don't want to go to bed. Hmm. Hmm. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking this button. It helps out a ton. And after all of that, be sure to check out the next video right up here. Of course, as always, thank you guys for watching.